All right, so thank you for inviting me. Um, I'm a bioinformatician and I'm going to talk about my career path in bioinformatics. Um, <clears throat> and I have this very grand title of knowledge management section head, but that really just means I manage uh, projects. So um, I've got a little graphic here of my career path. So I'm a geneticist by training. My first degree is in biochemistry and genetics. My PhD is in genetics, but actually that very quickly turned into data analysis and building databases um, and building really primitive, ugly databases to do data analysis for circadian rhythms in flies. Um, and, and people went on to get Nobel Prizes for this um, and our, our data was not in no way involved, but I'm really pleased to see that that, that area of, of circadian rhythms is still of interest. Um, I then went on to work at the EBI. Um, so we do um, very large data production. We do um, building databases, we do community engagement. And my role was really as a curator and annotator, firstly for nucleotide sequence data, so DNA, and then for gene expression data. Um, and I discovered really quickly that the skill set I had was really useful, but unless we could automate things, um, so script, um, build better applications, try and figure out how to do things quickly, that we couldn't really serve the users. And I kind of became a product owner. And in some ways, I'm still a product owner. Um, some of the things I went on to do after that were data modeling and ontology development. And I did a lot of collaboration with um, Robert Stevens group at the University of Manchester, where I rocked up and said, this is really funny because this application doesn't do any of the things I needed to do. And he said, well, that's because it's a research problem in computer science. And, and that's when I got really interested at working at the interface of, of other disciplines. And as a geneticist coming in to talk to computer scientists was really hard initially. There was like no common ground and we had to kind of try and find a, a common understanding. And that was really interesting. Um, so now I build data resources like the genome wide association studies catalog, um, like the polygenic score catalog. Uh, we build lots of other things and we do a lot of data analysis. Um, but one of my key jobs now is I'm a manager of people uh, and also projects. I really enjoy the community engagement parts, understanding what other disciplines do and why they do it. And that working at the interface has been one of the fun things for me. Um, and I have some responsibility for strategy, sustainability and funding, which is why I really care about the work of the SSI. So this is my uh, last slide. So you asked some questions and I've attempted to answer them. So what's worked? What worked is that I like working at the interface of disciplines. Uh, working at the interface of disciplines is exciting and it opens up new worlds. And it means you can kind of build a career path learning from others with different skills. Um, and and a, uncommonly in science, I'm not a specialist. I'm not a specialist in any one thing, but I'm a generalist. I know about lots of different kinds of data. Um, I know about lots of different kinds of software. And I'm always thinking about users and, and the, the kind of users that we um, serve. One of the things that's really worked for me is building a good network, so a network of colleagues, but also being kind of open. Um, and I've put that under the learning piece, so the openness and curiosity for what other people are doing and why they do it, I think has been really a driver for me in my career path um, and, and embracing the user needs. Because we're building product and things have to be persisted over time, trying to figure out how to do that has been the a really important learning piece. Um, there have been many failures. We have built lots of things that didn't work. Some of our early websites are comical now when you go back and look at them, but actually things have got better over time. Uh, and one of the things that I learned was that if, if you try and over model your data and your tools, you kind of mitigate against sustainability and generalizability. And, and things change faster, particularly in the branch of science that I work in, which is very molecular biology driven, they, they change faster than you can build tools for them. So if you've overmodeled your tools, then your tools will not persist. Um, when things didn't work, it was always about managing people and change. Uh, all of the huge mistakes I've been made have been about people. None of it's ever been about software or data or projects. Um, and the thing that I learned through coaching was that when I understand my own value set and, uh, and I'm true to those values, that's when I'm happiest in my work. And part of that is about being open and curious to what's happening in other domains. Uh, and I guess the thing that I learned most clearly was knowing when to say no and what to say no to. And so things which are, were iterative of previous things or things which were, um, we couldn't see any user benefit. Users couldn't use it or we were doing it because we were interested and not because we thought the users would be interested. So that's when I said no. Um, and advice uh, to my past self, don't worry so much. Um, it's, you know, this isn't clinical medicine, nobody will die. Bad software does, can kill people, but um, bad software also um, can be repaired. Um, ask for help. So 
one of the joys of working in the multidisciplinary space and at the interface is nobody expects you to know everything. So you can advertise your ignorance and you can ask questions, um, seek out challenging experiences. And, and I think it's really hard to find a career path in this space because quite often we're generalists, we work on different kinds of software, we work on different kinds of data, but actually there is a career path there, but you need the kind of network and you need the challenge and the curiosity for new data to find it. Um, and I just wanted to finish by saying, um, my cursor in the right place, what I do is, is the function of the team, right? So this is my team and this is a team I've just taken over. Um, and these guys are the people who actually do the work. Um, and so we're sustaining these products with these people. And the fabulous thing about these people is they come from many countries, they have very different experiences and they themselves are, are bringing their experience from kind of multidisciplinary scenarios. Hopefully I'm within the time um, time frame and I'll stop there. And thank you for the opportunity to speak to this uh, group.